a closet full of clothes but you still have nothing to wear. Sounds familiar? Well, no problem. These epic clothes hacks are here to save your day. Ready? Let's go! A blouse that keeps riding up. Oh, is there anything more annoying? Not really. But hey, no need to stress because here's an epic hack to solve this irritating problem. All you gotta do is sew some panties along the bottom edge of your shirt, blouse or other top. You can even use fabric glue but I don't mind a little bit of simple sewing here and there. I love to tuck all my tops in high-waisted jeans, shorts or any pants really. This is such a genius hack that will keep your top in place no matter how much you move your hands, bend down or even jump. I I mean, I could do a workout and this blouse would still stay nicely tucked in my shorts. Love that for us. Okay, be right back, just gonna go and transform all my tops into bodysuits. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever turned up to a party completely underdressed? Well, I have, and trust me, it is no Luckily, fun. Luckily, I'm wearing these cool out pants that can be easily transformed into a glamorous dress. Or actually, three different dresses, if I'm precise. Step with both of your legs inside one pant leg and pull the pants up. Slide your arm into the other pant leg and you're left with a super elegant one-shoulder dress. Such an incredible trick, right? I am pretty sure no one would ever notice that my dress is actually a pair of pants. Two. Okay, dress number two. Take your arm out of the pant leg and rotate the dress so the empty pant leg hangs down at the front. Now cinch the dress at the waist using a black belt and dress number two is complete. This one is probably my favorite and it's also super comfy. I mean, these pants as a dress are much more comfy than the majority of my real dresses. But we still have one more dress option to try out. Take the belt off. Gather all the fabric of the hanging pant leg and pull it over your head. We got an elegant drape halter dress. So many amazing tricks at once. I am impressed. I would choose a bralette over a bra any day. They're so much more comfortable. However, you can't really wear bralettes with v-neck tops because they're always peeking out. Take a piece of string, thread or yarn and cinch the front of your bralette like this. Make a double knot, snip the excess yarn and bring on the v-neck tops. I love this hack so much. You can cut the thread away whenever you want and get your normal bralette back. Oh, it's been such a long week at the office. So happy it's the weekend tomorrow. What? <gasps> Party right after work? I would have dressed a bit more fun. Actually, I have an idea. Let's take those pants off and no worries, we're not going on a party half naked. See this trappy top? Pull it down and you're left with an epic mini skirt. Let me just grab my hair tie and use it to make a knot on my oversized shirt. Hide the knot under the shirt and here we have a cute fitted top. From the office attire to a cool clubbing outfit in a matter of seconds. Cheers to the weekend, baby! Um, we just need a bit of yellow here and also here. Beautiful. Painting is so therapeutic and calming. <clears throat> Not really. This full activity turned into a stressful nightmare. These jeans are ruined. Don't panic, girl. We're not gonna let this little dot ruin our day. Cut a circle template from a piece of cardboard paper and use it as a guide to make lots of big colorful dots all over your pants. You can switch up the shapes, sizes and basically make your new favorite pair of jeans. When life gives you lemon, make a lemonade and when life gives you acrylic stains make colorful dotted jeans thanks to the painting accident i now have such a cool and unique pair of jeans everything happens for a reason indeed. why are you copying my outfit you are copying me Let's be honest, there's far bigger problems in the world than coming to a party in the same skirt as your friend. But this hack is super useful for all your midi skirts in general. Pull the skirt up and optionally you can accentuate the waist with the belt. What a fun trick! From a midi skirt to a dress in a few seconds. I love using my clothes in different ways and this hack is definitely one of my favorites. I will use it a ton going forward. Hey Katie! How did you do that? If you know, you know.
This outfit is pretty cute, but I feel like something is missing around my neck. Yep, I definitely need a necklace, choker or something similar. Say no more, we're making an epic choker out of a brass strap. Take any of those removable brass straps in any color of choice and let's get creating. Choose the gems, beads or any other little decor pieces. I went for these silver pendants, but you can also use buttons, stones, studs or anything else you find around your house. Voila, our gorgeous choker is finished. The brass strap already had plastic clips on both ends so you can easily secure it at the back of your neck. Another epic feature of this choker is that you can adjust the size of it so it will always fit you perfectly. What's even more awesome is that you can still use the strap on your bra. Now it looks even cuter and works perfectly when wearing off-shoulder tops. Hi! Surprise date in 5 minutes? Okay, I'm waiting! Surprise dates are always fun and exciting, but how could I possibly get ready in 5 minutes? Plus, I feel so cozy in this slouchy sweater. But hey, there's a way to stay in this comfy sweater, but look totally put together at the same time. Take your pants off and pull the sweater up. Now take the sleeves and tie them at the back. Let's finish the look with a red jacket, red heels and a purse. Surprise date, I'm coming! These jeans are pretty cool, but the waist is way too low for my liking. I was wearing such jeans years ago, but nowadays I much prefer the high-rise denim. And the good news is that you can transform any low-rise jeans into high-rise with a simple trick. Fold your jeans like that and cut away the middle part. Flip the pants inside out and sew the hole up using some thread and a needle. You can even use a sewing machine if you have one, but I don't and that's no problem. Flip your jeans inside out again and there you have them. Completely new high-waisted jeans. I used to wear a lot of low-rise denim in the past, so with this hack I can transform them and start wearing them again. Garden weddings and birthday parties are all Hello. super fun until you try walking on grass in high heels. A happy gathering becomes a nightmare instantly. We need to do something about it. Grab your shoe and wrap a piece of parchment paper around the heel. Place the shoe on a flat surface, making sure there's another little parchment piece under the heel. Start squeezing hot glue around the heel like I'm doing here. Leave the glue to drip down and make a little circle at the bottom. When the glue dries completely, take it off the heel and remove the parchment paper. With spring and summer coming up, all we can say is bring on the garden parties, birthdays and weddings because we are ready! Pop your glue creations on and you can walk on the grass as if it was a runway! Look at my pants! Why am I so clumsy? I can't even go to school like this! Wait, how about we try something out? Take a t-shirt and put it on just as it was a skirt. Tuck the sleeves in like that and ta-da! You're left with a super cute skirt with pockets! Happy birthday, sweetie! Mm, thanks, mom! I got you a little present! Here! Mm -hmm. And a black one! Oh yeah! Yeah, that's awesome, mom! I knew you love it! Come on, I made you breakfast! I've seen this hack from Idun Goddess years ago and I've always wanted to try it out. We don't need a glue gun this time, just the glue stick. Cut them into a bunch of little pieces. You can use transparent or colorful ones. I went for white and yellow. Make a design of your choice by placing the glue pieces on the shirt. I went for the sun, a boy and a girl. Turn the clothes iron on and put it on maximum heat. Hold it slightly above the design for a few minutes. The glue pieces will melt and turn into a perfect rounded dots plus they will stick firmly to the fabric. This hack is literally insane. I am mind blown. Plain t-shirts are always so inexpensive to buy compared to more special graphic tees. I love the texture and the fact that you can draw or write anything on your shirt. You can even personalize it and give it to your bestie. What a cool and creative present would that be? Okay, our black shirt looks great, but we still have to work on the white one. Let's make some DIY transfer paper. Print a picture of choice and cut it out. Place it on a piece of plastic wrap and put another piece of foil, cling film or whatever you call it on top. Cover your creation with parchment paper and iron it onto the shirt. My orange slice is all done looking rather dashing. But I want to make my design a bit fuller, so bring on another citrus slice. This time a green one. Yep, I also had to add the lemon slice to complete my citrus 
masterpiece. I am in love with my new graphic tee. So adorable and perfect for warm spring and summer days that are coming up. You can be super creative with this technique and transform your plain clothes into the most epic and unique pieces that you'll adore. Did you know that you can transform basically any dress into a skirt? All you have to do is put on a sweater and boom, instead of a blue flowy dress, I suddenly have a blue flowy skirt. But you can even take a step further and pull the dress down. Tuck the sleeves inside and hide all the bumps and lumps with a belt. We got a super elegant midi skirt that you can dress up with heels or dress down with sneakers. Another fun way to combine pieces and invent completely new outfits that you never knew you had in your closet. How would you describe your style? Sporty, casual, elegant, relaxed? Let me know in the comments below. For me, it's comfort all the way, baby. So yeah, my style is comfortable. What is yours? Thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.